Hey everyone, I'm thanks to the share from a similar to once more. Give a one of us is one wonderful soul storm replay on the Fata Gr Morgana map, sorry, Fata Morgana. So yes, we're going to have um, Bloodfirst playing as the Orcs and we got uh, Demar playing as the Imperial Guard. So uh, these players feature featured in a couple of other games and uh, yeah, the games haven't been too bad so far actually, so for well, why not feature them in a couple more commentaries, especially since um, they seem to be varying their races a bit. I think uh, Last time we had an engagement, one of the players was um, Imperial Guard, uh, not Imperial Guard, it was um, Elder, I think it might have been Bloodfirster. And of course, Demar was uh, still Imperial Guard. So, there you go, we should be in for an interesting game. And yeah, I mean, was planning to originally to um, do a couple more uh, commentaries on um, that Akron game, but uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to actually get it all up and running, because. Um, well, I had to upgrade the game because, of course, when I first did that original commentary, I um, had an outdated version of the game, playing an outdated commentary, a replay, should I say, sorry, replay file. When I upgraded the game, though, turned out that also needed to have um, some other stuff uh, copied over to the game's folder, because apparently there was some sort of a missing font problem, uh, which, I don't know, I don't know why it was there, I don't think I actually encountered that before, but, well, whatever, so... Of course, it took a bit of a while to actually figure all that out, because, you know, I just thought installing that distortion of the game and all that would be alright. I even uninstalled the um, original version of the game and installed the new version to make sure it was all alright. But, uh, well, what the hell, I mean, it's all up and running now, and, uh, yeah, should have the video, um, basically it's a little uh, explanation video about what uh, Akron is all about, uh, explained basically as quickly as possible. Um, so there you go, so yeah, just uh, stay tuned for that video, it should be uploaded along with uh, this video as well. So anyway, just checking to see what both players are doing at the moment, not too much really, we have a couple of slugger boys and all that. We've got the big mech coming in, <laughs> indeed, uh, so we've got the big mech coming in. And uh, yeah, slugger boys are also going to be uh, targeting, let's see, able to actually, no, they're going for the tech priest engines here, on oh, maybe they're just being used for scouting. Well, in either case, yeah, Bloodfirst is going to be doing a bit of harassment, um, did actually delay the capturing of that relic though, so that's a bit... Oh, that's interesting, you did actually um, have the opportunity to capture this strategic point as well, at least to decap it anyway. But uh, for whatever reason he didn't do that, I guess he just wants to explore as much as possible. Speaking of which, we do have the command squad also out for Demar, although he's going to be counteracted by Bloodfirst, the Shooter Boys and uh, attached to Bigger Mech as well. So I guess um, they're just going to leave these guys, uh, these Slugger Boys back here to do a bit of harassment. So there you go. And uh, yeah, by the time I actually did the uh, tutorial video for um, Akron, uh, I was a bit getting a bit late anyway, so it's nice if I had that much time to do many more uh, commentary support. Well, why not do Dawn of War Soulstorm? And since I've gotten a couple of requests um, to do that as well. So, what the hell, why not? So yeah, it looks like Armblood um, First is going to continue attacking with his um, shooter boys. Probably should get him a bit closer actually, so that's. Um, Oh, never mind, actually, the listing post has been upgraded, so no point getting them closer then. There's a slug of boys, his squad has managed to survive thus far, though he has taken a few um, hits though, and it hasn't really done much of them besides scatter out. Yes, there you go. So yeah, a bit of harassment actually by blood first, they're doing quite a bit of harassment actually. Yeah. Normally you'd see the uh, command squad of um, Pure Guard play actually doing, doing the harassment, but no, he's mostly been having to be uh, recalled back. So anyway, second which do you have more shooter boys, more slugger boys also coming out. Also a nice little war banner to be created as well. So yeah, it looks like our um, Orc player Bloodfirster is uh, yeah, certainly going to be um, in a pretty good position in the uh, beginning of the game. So there you go. Yes, oh, interesting days. Anyway, that's the Akron um, tutorial. It um, might be a bit um, sparse on the actual details and all that, but hopefully I um, should give more, in more information about uh, how the game actually works and all that, so at least enough information so you can understand the, actual, the commentaries that I'll be doing. So, what the hell, I'll just do a search for the game, of course, um, if... Well, anyway, if um, you s need a bit more information, because really there's crap loads of information available about the game, and it's just got quite a bit of detail in it, so especially when it comes to... Um, the uh, time, meta time, or time traveling uh, components. So there you go. <laughs> Which we have, um. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we got uh, a couple of spectators, um. Talking a bit. Got, uh. Wow. Interesting. Bloodfirst are teleporting, and he doesn't even know actually if there are any units around here, so he really wants to capture this last critical location, it seems. He does have a squad of, um. 
shooter boys and uh, yeah I guess he does have a left and middle critical location capture he's going to capture this one too and uh, why not so that's going to be putting uh, Demar in a bit of a tricky spot he's definitely going to want to move forward to, to capture one of these critical locations at the very least otherwise blood first is going to win in six and a half minutes time although <laughs> wow there's impure cards on the center getting torn up though so you can reach Demar is finally going to tier two we've got the demic shop already being constructed for Blood First, which means that he's at the Orcs equivalent of Tier 2. Don't see a pile of guns anywhere, so he is going to be going for a bit more of a vehicle-focused um, strategy, so we'll see how that pays off for him. So anyway, look at both players' economy, since they're both shuffling around at the moment. We've got 92 and 20. Six minutes until taking Indeed. old victory. Yes, it's going to be six minutes until Blood First wins, but anyway, we've got some 92 and uh, 20 for the Orc player, 104 and 30 for the Imperial Guard player, so yeah, Demar actually doing better than um, I thought he would. And here we go, now we've got some um, Command Squad coming in to do a bit of damage. don't know exactly why Blood First have really wanted to get large squads of shooter boys, because as you can see, the um, entire squad will be vulnerable to um, melee troops trying to attack him. It's usually better as the Orcs to have um, uh, basically multiple groups of smaller squads um, rather than uh, s smaller uh, numbers of um, larger squads, but anyway. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. But what the hell, I guess um, they're not going to do that. Just going to uh, make sure what they have, because basically these shooter boys are going to be completely vulnerable now because this command squad can easily um, keep them disrupted. And yeah, it looks like Blood First actually managed to capture this critical location before this one here was Five decaptured. Until taken and uh, yeah, as three. you can uh, hear, it's a voice of, yeah, basically now I think it's five minutes until Blood First wins through a uh, take and hold victory. I'm pretty sure it's a take and hold critical location. Yeah, well, take and hold of sorts anyway. Actually, the first unit they're going to get out is actually going to be the war truck as well. Interesting. And now they're getting a war truck out. Uh, and another war track as well. I wonder if they actually... Oh, they are upgrading them with a bomb shucker. <laughs> Who to think? So... It looks like they've only got a couple of slugger squads. It looks like, yeah, um, Blood First is going to be focusing on uh, ranged units, which is something you don't see Orc players doing too often. Usually they're going to be uh, going with a mixture of units. But um, the thing with their war tracks, when they're combining into war tracks, for example, uh, when, that, when you upgrade their bomb shucker, they act as a... Um, ah, not bad as a um, stationary, well no, not stationary, but mobile artillery piece. The problem is that the bump shocker does um, friendly fire um, as well. So you usually don't want some elite troops to be in the middle of that. But, uh, wow, actually, doing a pretty good job actually um, attacking and keeping the pressure on uh, Demar. actually got uh, one war track upgraded with um, bomb shocker. The second one hasn't been upgraded though, for whatever reason. Psyker using uh, as many of his abilities as possible, and uh, yeah, actually, Bloodfest is doing a pretty good job getting him in and out of the war truck, so one hell of a job keeping uh, Demar on the back foot. And uh, Demar also did use his accursed machine spirit on one of these war tracks. The problem is that we still got the war track itself, and another war track um, that can uh, quite a bit of damage. And, uh, yeah, it's a, doing such a bad job indeed. Um, so quite a bit of that yeah, would be um, attributed to Blood First's initial harassment and the fact that he was able to take up faster than Demar and get uh, multiple light vehicles out first. As so for Demar, actually he does have a mechanized command up and he actually does have one of the... yeah, there we go, he does have a sentinel up which means that they'll be able to take out these um, light vehicles pretty quickly. Bam, down goes the uh, war track. So... Got Two of them actually going to be upgraded to um, bomb chunks as well, and yeah, these sentinels should just about be able to shut down the um, harassment of uh, these light vehicles. Although yeah, they are lasting a bit of a while, actually. Though what Bloodfirst could really do with now, of course, would be the um, tank busters. If he can get a couple of them out, he can take out these sentinels pretty quickly. Although, wow, he's actually getting additional war tracks out, and he does have one of them just with a missile launcher upgrade. So I suppose with and a focus fire, they can take out sentinels. <laughs> I need to think. So I don't know if actually Demar's Sentinel here is going to do that much damage. You might just be better off using it to decapture these points given how quick they are. But then again, his base is also in a bit of trouble as well. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought actually um, the bomb chucker actually replaced. Oh, interesting. I thought it actually replaced the missile launcher, but apparently actually acts um, in conjunction with the missile launcher. 
now I've actually got the big mech being detached. I don't know if I'd actually agree with that. Rather have them just attached with these um, ranged squads there, but uh, also he's not going to do that. Oh, actually, it's going to be used as a repair instead, not that. Wow, it's actually um, four. Oh no, three war tracks out. One of them getting destroyed by the Sentinel, and uh, here we go. Kind of troops being uh, being uh, deployed for. Um, Blood first, and yeah, his war truck itself getting destroyed, but yeah, still continuing to keep up the pressure, which um, basically means that in one minute's time, if um, Demar doesn't actually manage to capture any of these points, then uh, any of those um, critical locations, then uh, yeah, he's going to be uh, losing the game just from that. And, uh, yeah, just one minute remaining, I'd say we're probably going to see a take and hold victory by Blood first, so. <laughs> need to think. You'd think that um, Demar would have at least dedicated one of these Sentinels to. Uh, Decapturing um, the critical locations, but uh, no, apparently not. I mean, sure, his base is in trouble and all, and all that. But if you imagine, he's repelling these attacks rather he's keeping them at bay. But um, really, they can only do so much if uh, Bloodfirst has um, more than uh, half of these critical locations controlled. He's actually got all three of them controlled. <laughs> so there you go. It looks like it's going to be just about game over. It looks like um, Demar is going to be just be sticking. Put him until the bitter end, and there we go, finally he sends one sentinel, he's sending in the second one. And given the amount of time remaining, I don't think he's going to be able to decapture that point in time. Actually, it's kind of crappy to have this thing at the bottom right here showing how much time is left, because um, really, you can easily tell they're not going to be able to decapture these points, because you know the game is going to end in a couple of seconds, which can only mean that Blood Firster is going to be um, winning uh, the game for a take and hold victory. So, there you go, not too shabby. <coughs> So yes, hopefully I should be able to upload this video a bit later on as well. And yes, until that happens, this has been uh, Dame Didovich signing off.